yo welcome to luma tech uh, youtube channel if you are just here for the first time make sure you click on the subscribe button below and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that we get a notification each and every time we upload new video today what i'm going to be showing you is how to get your file back when your file is encrypted with some tools maybe you downloaded some files or you visited some website from your computer system and uh, while doing that you get the virus the ransomware virus and your files were all encrypted so today i will show you simple steps on how to get your file back but first of all before we go deep into it i i want to show you what uh, the ransomware is all about I want to show you the definition. The definition of ransomware here is a type of malicious software or malware designed to deny access to a computer system or data until a ransom is paid. The ransomware typically spread through phishing email or by unknowingly visiting a, an infected website. Ransomware can be devastating to an individual or an organization. So what this simply means is that um, they kidnap all your files and demand for ransom. Before they could they, they can return them back to you so which I would totally uh, go against as in when they get your files don't try to pay them back you just you may just you may just have to forget it because during the post process of paying the ransom they may even steal your information your your credit card it have to be very very careful in dealing with those people because they cannot be trusted that's the reason they store your files in the first place because they cannot be trusted you trusted them that's why you visited the site or you downloaded some software but in 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 short i would advise you to have various powerful antivirus on your phone you have to uh, on your laptop you have to have keep many of them just have like one or two so uh, uh, on my laptop i'm using smartaf and uh, 360 antivirus and malware byte antivirus so malware byte is very very advisable if you get half the money you can get the the complete fashion you can also use the true fashion it's there you can use the true fashion but i will advise you to go for the premium have the premium one <laughs> I, I will have advised you to look for uh, a free one on the internet, but doing so, you might even get a virus. Uh, why, why, why trying to get the free software? Because that's how those people are praised. They will give you free files and put their virus in it so that they will they can penetrate your system. So if you can get the. Uh, uh, free and you don't want to use you can use the free one the free version is also effective but with limited uh, functions but you can also go to getintopc.com they have various software there they, they are countless of them they those free software there and they are they, they also have patches software there so you can visit the website and the, and the measure the uh, scan their files and uh, you can also donate to them to keep the ministry going so <clears throat> i don't want to bore you with the details with my too much talking so let me show you how you can know you have been infected with malware so when your system has been encrypted you will get a readme text like this something like this the attention don't worry you can return all your files all your files like photos databases documents other important are encrypted with strongest encryption so price or private key and decrypt software is net under 80 dollars can you just look at this and focus net under 80 dollars almost 1k one grand <laughs> very funny people discount 50 percent available if you contact us for 72 hours that's price for you so let's try to get your file back so what software are you gonna use to do this the software we are going to use is stop stop the crypto 
So this structure is free, you can get it on the internet. But I will also put the downloading link on the description of this video so that you go through there and get your files. So uh -huh. before running this uh, software, you will need to have next framework installed on your system. Net framework, you have to get it installed on your system. So if you don't have it, and I, I should tell you that uh, Net framework comes with almost all the window operating system. So here, Net framework 4.5.2 is recommended. But even if you have the higher version, it will do just fine. These are the variant of the. Uh, extension that this key can decrypt puma puma whatever 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 so if you get them back so make sure you install net framework the latest version or update your own your own you can even try to run the soft, software first to see if you have the compatible net framework here i'm gonna open click on the software to open it up <clears throat> so you have to swear that you have read all their terms and condition and you are you have agreed to it i solemnly swear i have read the frequently asked question and fully understand that this program can only decrypt my files if they were encrypted by an offline offline key yeah it's a note that if your files were encrypted with an offline key this software will probably work for you but if it's an online key there is no guarantee that you will be able to get your file back even you may not use this one you may try to use another software it, there is no 100 percent assurance that you get back out of the 100 you have 99 percent you should be 99 percent sure that you won't be able to get them by using these files but if it's an offline key, you, I think you have like a 50% guarantee, 50% assurance that this software will work for you. A link to the frequently asked question is in the README test, which I've just shown you. And at any attempt I made to modify my files or force an invalid password, you corrupt my data. If you agree, just click here. What that third <coughs> terms mean is that I have some encrypted files here that I'm gonna use as an example. So here, you can see this, the warrior's way. This files is uh, an MKV file. It's a media file, it's a video. So, so what the third times is saying is that don't try to rename them back to like that MKV the earlier fashion like this. If you do this, the software will not be able to get it back for you. So let me just click it. It won't open. It will not work. It may look as if the file is back to its original fashion, but it is not. It won't work. It is encrypted. It will not work. We can wait from now till tomorrow. The file will not play. So let's not waste our time. So I'll close it now and return this one back to the I its previous state so what i'm gonna do now is just use this place to locate the directory the infected directory so here i have it on my desktop ransomware i've renamed it to ransomware so i'm what i'm gonna do is just click okay so in a situation where you wanted to delete the encrypted files you just have to click on the settings and click here and click yes here but i will recommend not to do so because if you click here the encrypted file will be will be deleted will be deleted and so in case the encryption and decryption did not didn't work for you you won't be able to access it again so i will recommend not to go there at all but <clears throat> maybe you've texted the software on some of the files and it's worked you can just do that so that you won't be having both and 
respected and the picture you have and it will have and it will take a long time for you to just to shuffle them and rearrange the whole thing so, so you just have to click the delete so but i would recommend not to do that so after you must have selected the directory just click on the delete here and wait for <coughs> wait for it to be done you can see we are having we are getting back our files it remains the way it is decrypting it this one is back you can see it there this one is also back and uh some done four files decrypted so let's open the warrior way to test what we've done so if you are if you enjoy the tutorial and if it works for you click the like button click the subscribe button you can also share the video for your friends and loved ones click on the notification icon so that you can share the notification each and every time you upload yes as you can see <coughs> excuse me as you can see we've got our file back so okay settle down thanks for watching bye bye <coughs> This is the story of a sad flute, a laughing baby.